Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to tape mod your keyboard. The equipment that you'll need is some scissors, some tweezers, some masking tape, a switch puller, and a keycap puller, or a screwdriver. If you have screws on the back of your keyboard, that means that you'll have to unscrew them and then do it from the back. But if you don't have screws on the back like me, you're gonna have to take out your keycaps, then your switches, and then back plate. The first step is if you have screws on the back, you want to unscrew the screws and then take off the bottom case. But if you don't have screws on the back, then you want to take off every single keycap and then switch. Also for the people who don't have screws on the back, make sure you take out your stabilizers. Also don't be dumb like me and be careful when you're taking out the screws. Once you have taken out all the screws, it should pop out like this. It might take a little bit of force, also you could pat the keyboard on the back and then it might just plop out like it did for mine. Also for people who had the screws on the back, it should look like this but with everything still on the keycaps, the switches and the stabilizers. Also while doing this, make sure you have everything neat and tidy like I do. The next step is to just put two strips of tape across your keyboard so it covers all of the back of the PCB. Also while doing this make sure it's all nice and flat. Once you have done that all you want to do is just cut off all the excess little bits that are hanging off the PCB on all the edges. And then after that you will need to make a lot of holes for where the screws can go later on and I'll be showing you how to do this here. Once you have poked all the screw holes, you'll want to be cutting the tape around the USB-C part. Once you've done that, you want to repeat it three more times. After you've done it three more times, it should look something like this and then all you want to do is just pop it back into the back plate. And then you just want to reassemble everything back but unless you had the screws on the back you just have an easy job and you just screw everything back. But if you had the screws on the front you just want to pop all the switches, the stabilizers and keycaps back in. While doing this, it might be a tight fit. After you reassemble everything, it should sound a bit deeper and poppier. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope your keyboard sounds better. This was actually my first time doing this mod ever as well. So yeah, I'm new to this but everything worked out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.